good morning students uh, today we will see our next point uh, that is a mixture see in the last lecture we have discussed about the compounds and uh, i have given you some homework also yesterday that homework you have to complete it means that compounds start uh, today i will send you a pdf file of notes okay so in that some compounds names and formulas are given you just have to prepare like yesterday's chart okay and when your homework will complete uh, please send to on my personal whatsapp number okay so now we will start our next point and it is the last point in this lesson what is the name of our lesson that is the eleven compound and mixtures so already we have discussed about the elements and compounds their properties and all okay so today we will see a mixtures now see what are mixtures of what is a mixture mixture means what it is a combination of not only a particular element or not only a particular compound so it is a combination of both that is elements as well as a compound okay so these a mixture it is a varieties of mixture and so many things are present in that for example now see air okay do you know air everyone so air is a compound or element or any different no air what air is a mixture why it is a mixture because air in air so many different gases are present okay means what elements as well as compound it is the combination of both elements and compounds see uh, in the air nitrogen is present okay oxygen is present so nitrogen and oxygen what both are the elements okay but in air carbon dioxide is also present so carbon dioxide is what it is a compound okay so nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide and other inert gases these all are present in a air so air is known as a mixture one more example we will take that is a sugar solution okay sugar solution so why it is a mixture because see in this compounds element so many things are present in that what the first sugar and we the sugar when we added in a water then what it form a solution sugar solution okay so it is a known as a mixture so do you understand what is exactly mixtures okay now we will go towards our next point that is a characteristics of mixture see i have written here two points that is a mixture is a substance which consists of two or more elements or a compound okay so it is a common definition that is a mixture is a substance which consists of two or more elements or compound okay now see the next all the mixtures are impure substance see mixtures are not a pure substance why right? because it is the combination of elements as well as a compound okay so all the mixtures are impure substance because they contain more than one kind of particles okay or see in the dust particles also present in the air dust particles do you know so it is a impure substance elements and compounds they were a pure substance why because it contain only a same kinds of particles but in a mixture what it contain a different types of particles means dust particles for example it is present in a air okay now see the next we point that is the characteristics of a mixtures so now one by one you see see our first characteristic that is the constituents of a mixture may be present in any proportion now what are the const constituents of a mixture see here constituents of a mixture may be present in a any proportion same example we will take that is a sugar solution see sugar quantity is different water quantity is different means they are having and means they are taking as a same proportion suppose if we want to take a 5 ml water then we are taking a same sugar also no because these constituents are a different okay they are not having any fixed a 
proportion. So, the constituents of a mixture may be present in a any, any proportion. For example, air. See in the air, do you know that the composition of air we learned before also. Okay, so in that point, the 21% oxygen is present. 78% nitrogen is present. Okay, and other gases what? 1%. Carbon dioxide 0.03%. So everyone's proportion is different. So the constituent of mixture may be present in any proportion. Do you understand this first point? Okay, I have written only this point. You write examples also. Now see, the second characteristic of mixture that is can be separated by simple physical methods means what the mixture if you will take the any mixture that can be separated by the physical methods okay see in the compounds we have learned that it cannot be separated by any physical means means any physical method but mixtures are they can separated by physical methods for example now see salt solution okay if we will take a salt solution means how we will get the salt we can separate the salt yes very easily we can separate the salt by the process of method of evaporation okay so when we will boil water then water will be evaporated and salt we will get okay so these are the simple physical methods with the help of that methods we can separate mixtures. So mixtures can be separated by a simple physical method. One good example you will uh, see. Uh, now suppose we have the mixture of sand and water. Okay. And uh, it is completely mixed with each other. But you know that the sand is not soluble in water. Okay. And now we have to separate both of them. That is sand and water. Now how to separate See this you know most of the students know how to separate the sand and water. So which method we will use for that? That is a filtration. Which method we will use to separate sand and water? Filtration method. Okay so these are the some examples with the help of physical methods we can uh, separate it. Now see the next point that is mixture does not have any specific property. Okay. See, now mixtures, in the mixtures different type of constituents are present in that. Many particles are present in, present in that. So, they does not have any specific property. Means everyone's property is a different. Okay, now see in mixture, each constituent exhibit its original property. Which what everyone's property is different, it shows its original property. For example, now see water and sugar. Now these both two are the different, okay, sugar and water. And water is you know everyone and sugar, sugar is a sweetening test, okay. Water is a test test. But when we add sugar in the water, okay, when we add sugar in the water, now tell me what is the taste of water? The same like the sugar. Okay, so water change its state means see it, it, it sh a sugar shows its uh, original what? Original property because sugar taste is a sweetened. Sugar is a sweetened taste. So that that water that sugar solution, if we will drink it, then that taste is in a sweet. So everyone shows, everyone exhibits its original property. Okay. So the next point say, mixture does not have fixed melting or boiling point. Now a melting point means what? When any substance, any substance start melting. Okay. When any substance start melting on particular temperature, that point is known as a melting point. See, now you know that ice, ice started melting at what degree temperature? Freezing point, melting points, before also we have discussed this. So, every substance, mixtures, means 
those are constituents are present in that that shows it's a different different melting point as well as a boiling point. Now see water, water boil at what degree temperature? Let you know that 100 degrees Celsius water starts boiling. Okay, so every one shows a different melting point and boiling point. So these are the some characteristics of a mixture. See, first what we discussed that is the mixture is a substance which consists of two or more elements or compounds. Okay, so do you understand mixture means what? Mixture is a substance which consists of two or more elements and compounds or compounds. Now see, all the mixtures are impure substance because they contain more than one kind of particles. Okay, they are an impure substance because it contain more than one kind of particles. Then characteristics of mixtures. The first characteristics of mixture is the constituents of mixture may be present in any proportion. Okay, means it is not in a fixed quantity. See, whenever your mother is preparing food, so that time she is taking a different ingredients. Okay, but they all are in the same quantity. No, in a different different quantity she is taking. So that is also one example. Okay. Now see, mixture can be separated by simple physical methods. Now there are so many methods are there: filtration, evaporation. Okay, distillation, fractional distillation. So that methods we are going to the afterwards. Now see, the mixture does not have any specific property. In mixture, each constituent exhibits its original property. Means what? In a mixture, whatever the constituents are present in that, it shows their own property. And the last point that is, mixture does not have a fixed melting or boiling point. Means what in the mixture, whatever the substances are present, it shows their own melting and boiling point. So it shows a different melting and boiling points. Now we will see our next point that is a types of mixture. So you already we have discussed about the mixtures and properties of mixtures. Okay. So today we will see types of mixtures. There are two types of mixtures. That are first one homogeneous mixture and second one heterogeneous mixture. See, do you know that the mixture means what? In that a very different, very different components are present. Okay, and so many particles are present. So for that it is known as a mixture. Okay, but in the some mixtures, these are constituents, these components which are present in the mixture, they are completely mix with each other okay if you will see we cannot identify it which components are there in that so that type of mixtures are known as a homogeneous mixtures okay and some mixtures in that the whatever the constituents are present in that totally different from each other okay so we can able to identify we can able to distinguish them in a different particles. Okay, so this type of mixture is known as a heterogeneous mixture. So regarding means these mixtures, now mixtures so many examples are present. So now we have to distinguish in the two different categories that is the types that is homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. So now today we will see our first type of mixture that is a homogeneous mixture. Now homogeneous mixture means what? The mixture containing its constituents completely mixed together. See here, the mixture containing its constituent completely mixed together in a way not a distribution. Okay? means how they completely mix with each other in a way means what we cannot identify we cannot distinguish them okay so in a way not a distinguishable from one another are called homogeneous mixture 
so do you understood what is a homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture means what whatever the components constitutes means only the components okay whatever the components are present in that they are completely mixed with each other in a way that we cannot distinguish them okay so that type of mixtures are known as a homogeneous mixture for example air okay we know that air is present in our surrounding okay we cannot see air but we can feel it but you can identify that no in this corner oxygen is present in this corner carbon dioxide is present in now here nitrogen is present we can identify it we can distinguish it no because why the air means all these gases are completely mixed with each other so we cannot distinguish them so that type of mixture is known as a homogeneous mixture do you understand it good now see one more example we get sugar solution see sugar is dissolved in water do you know that so when we added sugar in water just you stir it for 5 minutes you will see sugar completely dissolve in water so now in one glass you take water and simple normal water in another glass you take a sugar solution so we cannot identify it, which one is water and which one is a sugar solution if you will take a sugar solution like glass so sugar particles you cannot see why because sugar completely dissolve in water so this is also an example of homogeneous mixture the same way salt solution okay orange juice in different different juice these all are a examples of homogeneous mixtures okay now here are some examples i told you just now what you have to do you write at least 10 examples of homogeneous mixture okay now we will see our next point that is a heterogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture see the mixture whose constituents are not completely mixed and distinguishable from each other are known as a heterogeneous mixture see heterogeneous mixture is opposite of homogeneous okay so in heterogeneous mixture in what it is whatever the components are present in that mixture that are not completely mixed with each other okay and we can distinguish it easily that type of mixtures are known as a heterogeneous mixtures do you understand it okay we will take one example see suppose in one plate if you will take sugar okay and sand both you mix together see you can identify sugar particles and sand particles why because they are not completely mixed with each other so these type of examples these are known as a heterogeneous mixture one more example you take any means different whatever you can identify rice and stones rice and stones these are uh, this is also the example of heterogeneous mixtures so stone you can identify color is different texture is different everything is different from rice so this is the example of heterogeneous mixture now just think it recall it observe your surrounding okay just go in your kitchen and identify which are the homogeneous mixtures which are the heterogeneous mixtures and write examples in your chemistry note so today your homework is write ten examples of homogeneous mixture and ten examples of heterogeneous mixture so today our this lesson is a complete that is elements compound and mixtures okay see this is a extra lesson it is for iit student only so this lesson whenever we will conduct the exam 
our regular school exam that time this lesson will be not included in that this lesson is only for the iit test when we will conduct iit test that time this lesson will be there and more some lessons are there that is based on iit okay so now in the next period we will start our regular that is a physical and chemical changes okay so today this lesson is a completed whatever i provided you notes that if it is possible take it out otherwise write down in your chemistry note so it is useful for you whenever we will conduct the test okay if you have any doubt regarding this lesson any point whatever whichever you not understood you just contact to me okay so today we will stop here next period we will continue our next lesson Thank you.